This masala chicken boti kebab recipe is quick, easy, and super delicious. People won't stop relish the flavor of this kebab once you feed them. Your family and friends will admire you for satisfying their taste buds. Please do try this recipe and give your feedback in the comment section. If you like this video, please do give a thumbs up, share it with friends, and if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe it. For making the marinade of this lip smacking kebab, I have used whole cumin, black pepper pond, cinnamon stick, cloves, mace, nutmeg, green cardamom, and poppy seeds. Now heat up a pan on a medium to low heat. Once little hot, add all spices to the pan and dry roast it for about a minute or until nice and fragrant. Once done, take it out on a plate and allow them to cool down completely. Then blend it in a spice or coffee grinder into a fine powder. I have already cut chicken thighs into medium cubes. Now add freshly ground spice mix, plain Greek yogurt or hung yogurt, red chili powder, Kashmiri red chili powder, turmeric, red chili flakes, salt to taste, garam masala and mustard oil into it. Then load it up with fried onion and ghee. Adding these two simple ingredients, you will level up your experience in cooking. Mix everything well. If you are very busy, then you can easily buy fried onions from any Indian grocery store. Or if you want to make it by yourself, do watch my barista means fried onion video for that. Once everything mixed evenly, cover it with plastic wrap and marinate it for an hour or two in a cooler. Then heat up a pan on a medium heat and add oil into it. Then start placing the marinated pieces in the pan in a way that they do not overlap each other. Then cover it and let it cook for about two minutes. Then uncover it and flip it and cook the kebabs from the other side as well. Keep stirring it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Just do not overcook it. It should stay moist and juicy. For serving, I have heated up the sizzler plate on a high heat for about 10 minutes. Now add roughly chopped cabbage at the bottom Add kebabs into it. Give it some extra love with sliced onion, cucumber, tomatoes and lemon. Garnish it with some fresh cilantro. You can enjoy this as an appetizer or with roti, chapati or naan bread. I hope you like this video. We'll see you soon in another video. Till then, happy summer eating. Thank you so much everyone. Bye bye. Take care.